Cuties, I want to be touring my stand-up comedy hour. Washington, D.C., I'll be there April 21st. And New York City, I'll be there May 21st. L.A., I'll be there May 4th, but it's already sold out. Get tickets at FumiAbe.com. Are you okay? Welcome, Welcome to, to Cash, Cash Cuties, Cuties, a super personal financial podcast where we analyze our friends' credit card statements with love. I'm your host, Steffi Bake. And I'm Fumi Abe. Now, if you're listening on your Apple Pod app, leave a review, hit follow on Spotify, and sub to our YouTube channel for the video version of this podcast. All the links are available in the episode description below. Yay! Shout out to our donor daddies. These are people who give us money on Patreon. What is Patreon? It is the best way to support this podcast. Uh, you give us a donation, we give you bonus episodes, and we get to buy stuff like cool cameras to make this look better. And better and, lighting. And better lighting. And today, if you notice that it's bad, it's because our video producer <laughs> couldn't make it because we had we had to change this, the scheduling. And we I, it's my fault. I fucked it up. I fucked it yeah. up, and that's why. But see, you giving us money helps us hire this video producer. And it's a good time. <laughs> this week, uh, we just have one person. Fanny, Fanny C, ten dollars. Thank you Thank so you. much. Um, check us out on Patreon. Cash cuties moment for this week, Steffi. What do we got? Okay, so, you know, I came back from Mexico City. Amazing trip. And everything is so affordable there. Mm-hmm. It's um, it's like every Uber ride was around three, four dollars. Okay. Every Uber ride I took. Three, four to USD. Fa- yeah, and from my Airbnb to the, to the airport was about six dollars. Okay. It was like a 20 minute drive. Okay. At four in the morning. Okay. It's amazing, right? Um, okay. So when I got back, um, I got a immigrant lady, a Nigerian woman. She was so sweet. She was my Uber driver on the way back here. To, the, oh, to, oh, from the airport. To, okay. From the airport. Yes, yes. It cost me $67. So it was just a shock for me mm-hmm. after a week of just paying. Like that was like my whole trip. It was about that much for when I was over there and Ubering. Um, by the end, she was like, she told me basically her whole life story about like how she immigrated here and she has like five kids and started making me think about my own mom being a single mom and all these things by the end um she i wanted to tip her but i only i didn't want to tip her like i realized when you tip somebody she's not gonna see it if it's on the on app? the yeah on yes, the she app will. she will but i won't get to see her response to my tipping oh right? i see and i got I so see. used yes. to that yes, yes. it's like I wanted to see the response. Okay. So I gave her, oh, I think I felt kind of guilty or whatever. I gave her a $20 tip. Cash. Cash. Now, before we continue, gorgeous, is that gorgeous. legal? Is that legal? Yeah. I under, I don't know, but I did Uber it in Mexico. Corp, is that legal? <gasps> You know well, they don't, they don't like that. They don't like it. But like, what can they do? Well, they can't do anything. But I'm just asking. Because why? What happens? What is it like taxed for them or something? They, like yes, what? it must. Yeah, it's the, yes. the tip. So you giving mm-hmm. them the ca- a cash is under the table, so it's not going to be registered. Meaning she's not paying taxes on that. Dude, so like, but it's the most Asian thing you've ever done. Yeah, it was amazing, <laughs> and I felt really good about. But I also just really loved her. Like by the end, I like felt like I. She was but like, did you feel? bad after it happened because now you essentially dropped 90 dollars coming back from the airport to your house okay i didn't do the math i don't, I don't want to think about that why did you just say that to me because that's so what this don't part is about it, bro. i don't I, about, I don't i just don't think about it i, I was thought, just like when you were telling me the story she, i thought what? you were saying like i felt good in the moment but afterwards it was like bittersweet because i realized no, she worked me she wow. worked you she worked you <laughs> with the story it's funny that like no, that's I liked where <laughs> i did math too but not the same math she said 67 dollars, and i thought two more dollars and it would have been 69 <laughs> That's and I hung there and had to come back and cool up. Listen to her story. Listen, you're a grown woman. Listen to Steffi. That's a that's a good that's a good tipping thing. Like you just every time you tip, you try to get it to sixty nine. No matter what you do, the coffee could be three dollars and you give her sixty six or whatever. But like she worked me, but it wasn't like I liked that. Like I I felt like that money went towards like really good cause. But that could have been her move. Right. No, but I don't care because I had a good like I felt good sitting there and it was like partially for me I got to see her she called she told me you know what did she say she's like oh you're a woman of God that's, that's what she oh, said to me wow. and I, I really enjoy I like like what? that I was what, like, what what did you do that that did that the $20 the, oh you gave her money and then she said you're a woman of God yeah and then she nah, was nah, so nah, happy nah, 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 nah. You, you you bought that label fine fine yeah that's <laughs> okay fine. sometimes I like yeah <laughs> okay can I throw this to our guest here? Do you tip your Uber drivers? On in the app. Because I I've never tipped my Uber driver. Uh, I've never. Now, but 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 uh, I, I feel like I why? feel like it's not a it's not that uncommon. Like 
I don't know why. If I take a yellow cab in New York City, I do tip. Because like, you're just supposed to for some reason. But for some reason with Ubers, I feel like there's like a decent amount of us who are like, oh yeah, I don't I don't tip. A lot of times it's because I forget wait, wait. to because like I don't look at the app when I That's end the ride. That's a lie. You no. do not for, fool me. If you, you say I've you know, never you done forget. it. No, no. You I'm forgetting every time. On a financial <laughs> podcast are not forgetting every time. I'm a forget I'm a forgetful Fumi, you know what I'm saying? I am so shocked, Fumi. Like I like you, but now I like you a little you less. Tip every time? <laughs> yes. Really? Yes. But see for me it's like just charge me what it costs. It, Cuz if it's like on the app, you know what I'm saying? You know that what? tip goes on you know how much they take uber takes like a certain percentage like a big chunk then of the charge summer. me more i don't i just feel like the the, his, the problem with the tipping is like it's it's two pain points so you're gonna get a lot of people like me who are like well i don't and and, and, and i would the, love to see the and, stats and can on I how actually, many people are tipping. you can actually google this because i've asked a lot of people and like it's more than you think it's more than you think and the, and when i meant when i said forgetting this is what i'm talking about because i'm not actually forgetting what happens is i i close the door the end the i end the ride right and then the next time i open up an uber might not be for a couple more days and when i open it they go hey did you want to leave a review for whoever gave you a ride two days ago and you can leave a tip but it's already been two days and so you're like meh and that's that's where that's coming from, as opposed okay, to the okay. New York City yeah, you cab. You just made up some crazy the bullshit New York City right now. Cab, you got a tip right there. And so I'm curious. You always get an Uber. Like you're, I'm like you're not in my mind. I would think that you would be rated low and you would never be able to get an Uber, but that's clearly not the case. They can't rate you based on tipping. Ah, they think. should though. Because they rate you the second you get off the okay. car. And so it's based on behavior. Oh. And I have excellent behavior. See, okay, I feel that you should tip on how they drive and also on your experience in the car with them. You need to do that because if not, everyone's gonna just not give a fuck. And then you're gonna have a bad Uber driving experience. Oh, so are, are you rating and not tipping? Or are you I'm, not doing I'm rating and not tipping? <laughs> wow! Wait, is for me? I'll give him five stars. I'll give him five stars. Oh! Uh, and I, and with the New York City uh, cabs, not not that anyone rides a cab anymore, but with New York, you can't leave a review on New York City cabs. And I've had like awful drivers. I feel like it should be the other way around because. Taxis are so expensive. So more expensive. So, so you should not be tipping them and you should be tipping Uber. But I think it's just like, um, it's because taxi drivers can be like, no tip. They can just say that they to you. They can say it to you, but you can but just Ubers, anonymously yes. not do it. It's kind of like tipping at the coffee shop and you don't, you don't want to, but you don't have to tip for like three days after and, then uh -huh. when, and, and they're not looking. So you can just be like. No okay. Tip. Have you worked in service industry? I used to work at a restaurant. And you feel okay about this? Well, I was just making desserts in the back. I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't serving food. I was making desserts in the back. They wouldn't let me on the in the front of the floor. Wait, you were a pastry chef? No, not really. I just what made like. What type of desserts? Um, like um, crumb brulee and stuff. I mean, I'd make. You the, said that's so weird. Crumb crum brulee. I don't. I've never had it. Crumb brulee. Crumb brulee. It's like a French crum word. Crum well, brulee. Well, in the Japanese restaurants, we would say crumb brulee. <laughs> I never, I never learned, I never learned how to say it in English. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, I, I looked, I, I looked up this Uber okay, tipping thing. It says only sixty percent of rides receive tips in 2019. That's right. Okay, sixty. So forty. Sixteen. No, sixteen percent. Okay, rides. so then eighty. So most people are don't, not don't do it. That's what I'm saying. In 2019. So, so that, that's what I'm saying. It's like it's not that uncommon for people like me. It's actually the majority. People like okay. you. When when surge pricing happens, is that does that benefit only Uber or does the driver? also benefit am i in I the think weeds the driver benefits okay um well wow uh i'm not changing my behavior i asked that you change yours <laughs> <laughs> you tip every time yeah every time unless the guy or the person like major it's always a guy yeah. <laughs> it will, it's yeah, always a always fucking be, guy who's yeah. not gonna uh, they're being weird or like mm -hmm. creepy or like are they're not uh, uh, the drive is too aggressive mm -hmm. but see Dude. in those instances uber allows you to file a specific complaint about their behavior that has nothing to do with money right so you could just be like hey this is a bad experience he harassed yeah, me but i'm also not gonna tip them yeah you don't have to right but but uh, i've never filed you never, never filed? filed? I've never filed. I've only will use, I, I file by my rating and by my tips. Wow. But it's, but it's never reached a point of seriousness either. So let me right. just 
okay. say that. Okay. So you're doing the way you said wow makes me think that you've done this a lot where you you file. Oh, Dude, yeah. you're horrible. I file, bro. Dude, you know people are out of the job then too, right? No, no, but so you're not tipping. Plus, the one thing you will do is spend <laughs> ten minutes writing a <laughs> complaint. Listen, I'm not file. Like if it's a regular ride, I'm not kind of file thing. I'm talking about like when people like. I'm I'm in danger. He's scared right now. He's I'm he's like scared, he's bro. like I don't want. I'm not scared, bro. Come at me. Come at me, Tre- I, I, Trevor. I wish I Trevor could. Kikai. I'm still so shocked. Dude, but eighty six percent, bro. Eighty six percent. You know, I am shocked by that too. I guess. Yeah. I, he only I, tips a dollar for drinks at the <laughs> at the bar, uh, with the bartender because that's what he that's learned normal. in Japan. Is that not normal? But it, we're in 2024. Uh, bro, <laughs> if you and I go to Zebulon, okay, shout to Zebulon <laughs> after improv show. <laughs> If you on, okay, okay, you you get me a beer. They're like, okay, that's fourteen dollars. You're not gonna just tip two dollars. So you're paying cash in this mind. It's cash. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. See, two dollars. So one dollar. Well, yeah. no, I'm more now. I'm in a place. I've worked service so much that I always, I just always do twenty percent unless it's horrible. Mm. No, I get at the bar. I was a bartender when it's cash, but we're not living in a world of cash. These you, you, know days. What, you know what I want to do? I, and I'm also, also probably buying you a drink. I'm buying her a drink. I'm like, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah, not, yeah. Usually, just I'm not usually doing oneers of like a, a beer. Oh, okay, 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 okay. But here's what I want to. And before you say that, this nasty thought of yours. <laughs> no, no, no. Before no, no, you I, say I, I, this, I, I, this I, I, nasty, it's loaded. It's loaded. Oh, it's, it's loaded, bro. <laughs> what, she got the gun eyes? right here, bro. <laughs> no, okay, man. I would like to get rid of this no tipping shame against like the person the tipper you're, are you you are victim? going after the wrong person okay you're a victim okay. of this you're a victim you're wow. going after and, and that's how the man in capitalism gets you oh that's how gosh. capitalism gets you because capitalism makes you guys feel like you're a better person than me because you tip <laughs> but really what's wrong with the system is they should just I should just pay what people are supposed to get paid and that should be the end of it. Wow. Just just pay people a fucking fair wage. Don't fucking oh. come at me, bro. Okay? But you wow. do that, doesn't like, fix that was like the watching problem. a Cirque du Soleil show. The way you bend. <laughs> the way you bend. bend. <laughs> Like a contortionist, bro. And then it's like, now it's it's about capitalism. It's capitalism, it's bro. A, it's about capitalism. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. No, but see, I I I agree with what you're saying, but also like. 86 percent you know what i'm saying okay so that number means something let's well bring just because everyone else doesn't mean you have to follow but i guess that number is so high that don't you think it's 2019 like, i wonder in 2020 i guess what i'm saying is that number is so high that it's it's beyond just people being stingy oh, look right? it's increased to 24 28 percent now 2024 but it's still 72 percent that number is so, so high i am surprised i'm, that, I'm that, shocked that it's it's beyond just people being stingy there's yeah, something happening psychologically that needs to be addressed i think it's because they're not doing it up front like i yeah. think that the reason we tip more at the coffee stand, even if we're standing and we're getting the coffee from the door, wa- is because you. they're watching and wa- waiting 100%. for that connection. Yeah. And same thing with the old yellow cab drivers. Yes. They're, they're watching you, and if you don't do it, they'll say they'll give you shit. I remember yeah. back in the day they would do that to me in New York, but so Uber's, they it sounds don't. like. <laughs> Uber drivers should turn their heads, and especially if you see Fumi, <laughs> turn their heads, look, and go, l- love it if you were to rate and tip me before you leave. Would we'll love it, F- Fumi, if you would. If you, if you do that, I'd be like this. What'd you say? <laughs> I pretend like I'm AirPods. You t- What'd you say? <laughs> I don't I, have there's this. not a, anything you in your out. hand. I see. I'm looking at you. There's nothing in your in. hand. <laughs> oh, God damn. Wait. Okay. Can I open up one wow. more One more box of worms? One more? May yeah, I? Yeah, sure. I? May okay. I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's Please fish. Do. do you guys tip at the hotel the people clean your room? I'm going to lose my fucking mind right now because okay. I used to be a housekeeper. And if you tell me <laughs> I was a child housekeeper at like 14, one of my first jobs was in at America? Ho- Holiday in, in America. In America? You can't you imagine can't, that, you can't in America. Do that in America. You can't be 14 cleaning. In America. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay so i remember seeing my parents do that like in the 90s but uh i don't is that a thing yes still? yes but what if you don't have cash <laughs> there's always an atm i gotta go to the atm get a 20 can someone break this 20 
it's just like I, okay so the, the reason why i bring it up is because recently that i stayed i stayed in uh, dallas this place had a qr code and they're like if you like to leave a tip so i did that but okay. i'm like good because you made it convenient for me to do yes because even nail places now are like venmo venmo but are you, you know, makes sense venmo that tips sense. if you don't want to if you don't have cash venmo us so how are you doing it? are you doing it every day at the end I, of, or do you or do, do you, you even end clean? of my stay another stay but do you but have factoring in how many times that i you clean because you don't yeah. do it every time but you don't do it every day the clean. same person may not be cleaning that shift so then like maybe it's not that lady's shift that day and then but it, then you hope in the wash that's absolutely true yeah but in the wash that everybody is getting fed fumi in the wash what do you mean? mean meaning that <laughs> if everybody tips then it's covering everybody does that make sense if everybody's tip yeah right, but right, like right. hearing yeah can, we google, can we google how many people no tip i'm not gonna give you, no. Well, no, I know you don't get that anymore like, when i was again 14 yeah. having to clean used condoms underneath Ugh. beds and such doing that? egan minnesota the suburbs fuck? yes so that's hard work yeah that's and you get you know yes we we can talk about capital ugh, we can talk about <laughs> capitalism <laughs> yeah. and no. it's, you know how it's like but but for corporations if they're they're not going to hire as many people if the price of per person so they a lot of workers depend on tips yeah. to survive mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah the hotel thing i just the reason why i bring it up because when i tipped the other day i was like oh i haven't done this in like years like i completely forgot about this mm -hmm, it's kind of like i feel like less people are doing it especially younger people i feel like are do, not I, I don't know what I, I yeah I guess it's just like because again it's like a in private thing it's like a tipping in yeah, private when you yeah. tip in private yeah you have to be sort of shamed into tipping I think yes yeah I wonder if um are you do you I feel any shame right now are you he doesn't <laughs> do you think, yeah, he's, yeah I, mean, that's how I don't feel well, any now, no now that you said the used condom story a little bit but but the thing is the th and the, if me, I know you are just like jizzing in the coffee oh, pot it's true. You're, 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 coffee. you're wiping it all oh, oh, God. Okay, but you know that's a really good point because I actually take care of my hotel rooms are very clean so I don't even know how much cleaning you really have to do because I'm a clean I boy I clean up at the end do you guys do that I clean up, I clean uh, up at my bit. Airbnb I throw out the trash i i don't know where why. you throw out the trash you huh? find a, you find a trash shoe yeah outside and, and then i down well i did for this airbnb uh -huh. I, oh, I threw, uh, airbnb I that's them. different that's different do you not tip at the airbnb i don't I do tip not at tip at the, the airbnb, airbnb. I tip those at, are owned by fucking corporations and fucking no but there's a cleaning there were cleaning ladies there Oh, I the saw cleaning them, crew? But oh. It probably depends on the Airbnb. If it's like an individual's Airbnb, maybe not. But this was like a building of Airbnbs. And I saw the ladies coming in. Maybe because I got con um, I was connected to the people again. Maybe. It's like when I okay. know who. See, but I, and like I get, you know, and this, big here's the thing. I would be more than happy to tip the Uber driver and the hotel people. If this happened to me the other day in Dallas, I was getting pop belly fucking not even that good i got a sandwich and a soup it was 15 dollars, and then the, the ipad thing said i had to tip and so i tipped and it was my meal was 18 dollars. yeah and i'm like you didn't even you're getting paid an hourly wage right like you're you know what i'm yeah, saying i'm like yeah. i would if I, if they didn't char make me shame tip at some of these places <laughs> where i'm like what the fuck i have to tip you i would be more than happy to tip uber okay so there's that. a new california law uh, law was passed that the restaurants um can't have sort of the it's not fair to say hidden fees mm. but sometimes you'd go to a restaurant or even if the party is six or more we're gonna yeah. charge 18 yeah. percent for tip yeah or some places um like, like a health john tip. and v Vinny's or the animal or those types of restaurants are like okay we, we upcharge 18 percent to take care of our staff mm -hmm, right mm -hmm. they they can't do that oh, anymore. Oh, oh wow God. so now what they're going to do is then they're going to increase the prices of the f of the food mm -hmm. so now your cost per plate is going to be more expensive mm -hmm. you prefer that over well i was gonna say if I, I don't want to think about it. To me, it's all about the pain point. Yeah. So if you include the 18% without me really thinking about it, then I, that's cool too. With yeah. the Uber, my thing is like, just include it in the price, man. You know? Yeah. Just include it. I, I don't, like asking someone, it's just a marketing thing, but it's like, if you ask somebody to pull up their wallet multiple times, but the yeah. third, second or third time, they're like, I don't want to anymore. No, look, I have been called a white whale. <laughs> and what does that really mean? <laughs> well, this is embarrassing to say and how it was brought up to me is that there is like, 
one game that I play when I mindlessly need to separate from reality and it's a dumb game on my phone that I can't even pull what it's called. It's like Gardenscapes. And what all I do is just like, a, like a version of Candy Crush, but like set in like a garden or whatever. Okay. And sometimes I, I, I buy more lives. I purchase things ah, in app okay. and, and I'm what those game developers call a white whale. I'm going to be somebody who's like, if I want it, I'm going to get it. Yeah. And it's insane that I do this. Yeah. And also dot, dot, dot. I tip, I tip everywhere. <laughs> You tip, tip the gnome guy? No, I'm just saying. Oh, like in, in addition. You, oh, hold on, can I ask you something? Yes. Were you always like this? Or is this because you have it's you because know, of some wealth? You know, like did you always yeah. what did you always have wealth in the past? Or no. Just, so <laughs> so were you doing this back then or were you doing are you just doing this? Well now? I've always spent more than my means. <laughs> Regardless of my means, now my means are are large. But um because I work so much service, because I was a server in my mom's restaurant at 11, because I've always had jobs like this. Mm -hmm, and I know mm -hmm. what it's like to have like a goose egg and clean a room and get nothing for what I've done. Like I just, unless they're, unfortunately, unless they're really, really bad, they're gonna get 20% from me. Mm -hmm. well, wait, hold on. Do you I also karmically feel like it's, you know, like I, I, I don't put that. money. I don't have an altar to put money on. I don't go to the temple to give, you know, alms. Right, but right, in right. my small way, you know, well, like do comedians get tips. Like when you guys do stand up, do you guys get tipped by people? Um, actually, when I did the show in Dallas, one guy just gave me a 20. Oh, really? That really nice. That's, That's really before. nice. How did they nice. give it to you? Did they throw it? He took a picture with me and he's like, hey, keep this. And he gave me a 20. That was really nice. I've never. That's that, interesting. That's really nice. Yeah, it was an old white guy. Should shout, that be a new thing? People. You guys, should, you guys should start making it seem like you guys should but get tips. You should ask like, "Hey guys, make it rain." Like people to come up. I think what typically <laughs> Dude, comedians do totally. is like they'll sell merch and they do this thing called "pay what you want." So I'll sell stickers that cost me thirty cents to make, but I'll be yes. like, "Pay what you want," and people will be like, "Oh, a dollar bucks for it." No, 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 because people want to give you stuff you know that's, that's what nice. i heard i haven't done it but i you know i'm trying to get on that merch game but cash yeah we need cash cuties merch some, man st actually you know we've been talking for too long please let's yeah, introduce the we, guest why haven't we even we done that heated. what is happening this, this is the story this, this is, is the, the story, story. I can't this is this. It. if you're wondering oh who this God. generous white whale tipper is um <laughs> this 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 number one customer at uh fucking zynga Everywhere. or whatever gaming company <laughs> makes that game she's talking it about probably crush candy crush candy crush um our guest today Today is a comedian, actress, generous tipper, yes. co-host of the Add to Cart podcast. Yes. It's Kula Vilesak, everybody. Yes. Thanks for coming on the pod. Sorry for the late, 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 late introduction. No, I mean, we jumped into it. We jumped we, into it. We deep dived immediately. And we deep dive. And I got to say, I felt like we were friends. I don't know if we are anymore. No. Because you've learned about my bad, bad tipping behavior. I, I'm still, it's just something, you know, I think... <laughs> <laughs> all relationships and even just life is the sum of all parts. Now yeah. that was a subtraction. <laughs> <laughs> that was a subtraction. Yeah, yeah, but like, yeah. you know, I still really like you. That's How nice. can he make it up? What would you, do you need him to tip? What if he was, a, would you prefer him to be a bad tipper than not a tipper at all? Yeah. What, what if you found out that he paid, oh really, like a 10 percenter? something. Oh God, you're right. You know what I mean? If you found out that he was a 10 percent tipper, that is so that's then bad. you seem shy that's almost like it's, you, it's, it takes you to shysty levels can yeah. I use that word is that okay it, so. it's a versus you not even being like it's like absurd what you do is absurd but like at the point of 10% now you're just like rude but do you guys think that there's a appropriate time for 10% because I do if yeah, it, it's more to like, I feel if like I go to Subway sandwiches yes, and the they make a fucking sandwich and they fucking flip the iPad and it's 10, 15, 20 I'm like I'm not giving you a 20% tip for making no, a fucking sandwich, I think 10% to me would mean like you are actually making a point to be like, I don't like you. Like to be oh. like, you gave bad service. Mm -hmm. Like I could see myself doing it. It's aggressive. It's an aggressive thing. It's an thing. aggressive yeah. move. Okay. Even more so than 0%. Because 0% to me, percent tip means like, like you, that's not, you're not, no, no. What it's it like you're not the type of person to, to tip. So it's not personal. It's less personal. You're ah. still an asshole. You're still an asshole, but you're not. It's not personal. But if it was ten percent, I'd be like, I'm sending a sign. You're sending a sign that you suck. Ooh, that's I don't know. interesting. What do you guys but if it's a, if you're like, let's say, a waiter at PF Chang's in Burbank in the lunch 
you know, like a lunch rush. You're just like, whatever, I can't take this personality. Let, let's hope that 10% adds up and someone gives me 20. At least it's money mm. mm-hmm. in, in the in the sum of things, mm-hmm. right? Where like zero is just like zero. You just wasted your time. And oh. I made you the special sauce with all three sauces and yeah. you gave me well, nothing. You have to tip. So, so I, and correct me if I'm wrong. My logic for tipping is... So when I worked in restaurants, I don't I don't know if it's the way anymore. Back in the day, waiters and bartenders, their hourly wage wage was like three four dollars because they were expected to get tipped. Yeah. So because their hourly wage is three dollars, I'm going to tip you twenty percent because that because you're because you're not getting paid a lot, right? But if I'm at a fucking Subway sandwiches or whatever, your hourly wage is twenty dollars or three dollars or whatever the minimum is now. I'm like, okay, well. But aren't you accounting for inflation and how much more things are these days but, and back in? I, I, I was taught tipping <laughs> as like, maybe I, I was just taught it wrong. I was taught that you tip restaurants, those guys, because they're not make their, their hourly wages low on purpose because they're going to get tipped. So you have to tip. So that's how I thought of it. And so it's like, I'm not going to, I mean, to me, sometimes it's like, if you're going to ask me to tip for a Subway sandwich guy Who's They're already sandwich making a th- artists, but artists, go ahead. Yes. <laughs> it's like, well, okay, I used to work in marketing. Am I supposed to get fucking tipped every time I gave a fucking presentation? Like, you know what I mean? It's like, where does it end? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's sort of like... Where does it end? Where does it end, bro? <laughs> like, you, you already make a salary. You already make a salary. Okay, right? but marketing, yes, you want a salary. The sandwich artiste, artiste. is not <laughs> getting. A, but but I mean, they're not making four dollars, right? They're, yeah, well, and that's that that's the difference crazy. to me. That's the difference to me. Is like four dollars is child labor in Asia. <laughs> no, but like at least in New York, that's the way they did it. Bartenders mm-hmm. made like four or five dollars, but because they made a tip. Actually, the 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 guys are making like thirty dollars an hour. Like every did you hear Who's about the that? Right, the, the um, fast food chains have to pay employees thir- in California I think it was thirty dollars 24 or 30 do- to 30 dollars an hour they've raised they definitely yeah, have they raised, raised. But it was, it's 24 to 30 dollars which is more than we're both making <laughs> I think that's also the issue is that we're all freelancers <laughs> <laughs> that's the whole thing is like yeah, if I was making piece. a quarter mil I'd I know, be like but when you were generous at Cornyn mm-hmm. I did I was I was tipping but now I am not. Well, that's also okay. Yeah, it should. Yeah, but but it's, it's like it's hard because they don't know what my situation is either. Yeah, you know and that's I mean? why you need to be vocal, much like the woman from Nigeria. Pardon if that's not the country she was from. She, was from she is from Nigeria. Nigeria. Yeah. Nigeria yeah. Then you she need, was... as you sit down in an Uber, you need to start talking about. about my life. <laughs> Genius! It can go Genius. both ways. It can go both they, ways. They do their soft story. I do my I soft do my story. story. And I think you start it as you're entering, so that you. That get it is first. so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Anything. They can't even calibrate what's happening. You're, yeah. you're already. You have dropped them in in the middle. Yes. And yes. so yeah, I was working at Cornyn, but now I have <laughs> nothing, and it's like I can't even and go I'm back to my old job because <laughs> time has passed, and I'm not. Oh, I'm not young anymore. They can't afford. You know, and like, yeah, I lived in New York, which is expensive, but now in LA, people don't yeah. talk about how expensive LA is. You know, just go, that's go through. Absolutely genius, and that's that's the solution <laughs> right there. You gotta do. You gotta have your own sob story ready if you don't or want maybe to. Maybe you should get a a better sir. Like you should like try service jobs like now in your life. Maybe it'll make you think differently. I don't think you're understanding what I'm saying about waiters. Waiters are supposed to get tipped. They're supposed to get tips, so I tip them. Yes. Because they make a low hourly wage compared to other people. That is the math. But Uber, they don't make a that lot. Uber, I don't know. I, Uber is, is tricky. Uber, I think I'm guilty with Uber, for sure. But Good. I'm, I'm talking about like... I love to hear like, that. I love to hear that. You know what? Like, we're going up. <laughs> like, even when you go to Panera Bread, they're like, you Fumi, got a tip. And I'm like, what are you up. talking I'm about? You're, fucking... you know, you're going up in my... You admitted it. When and I, you're I was going working at a bookstore, yeah, they didn't tip us. Being the cashier, why do I gotta fucking tip you? If you're a fucking tip, a fucking cashier uh, yeah, at a yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, I see that bookstore. That's, that's the logic. That's all the logic. Right, all right. Drivers keep seventy five percent of the f- uh, fair price of Uber, and Uber takes twenty five percent around average. Mm-hmm. That's the, that's the fun. The, the fun. Okay, 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 okay. It's tough. Okay, it's tough. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm, I'm learning things. Well, we don't want to no, make you, you not, you need not to keep tipping. You need to not no, change you need your to keep tipping so guys like me don't, you know what I'm saying? You're compensating. So I'm compensating for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if people complain about tipping, I just be like, I, I, I send yeah, your Instagram. Point, 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 <laughs> point, point, <laughs> Yo, check out Instagram. Cool I plug you. 
<laughs> she be tipping. That's so funny. <laughs> it is cultural though. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, sorry you got me, but check it at <laughs> I am cool. Yeah, 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 I really yeah, yeah, hope yeah. that you get her that sometime. That should be your credit, dude. You should put it on your Instagram. Great Do you think tipper. it would raise my star meter? <laughs> 100%. 100% on IMDb. I'm just looking to raise my star <laughs> meter, <Absolutely>. you guys. <laughs> Absolutely. That's hilarious. <laughs> um, That'll change, by the way, as you get more famous. You're gonna want. You're gonna have to start tipping more. Because gonna, you're gonna otherwise, you're a story. Well, you're, gonna you're gonna be a turn to the, the, the blind James item, Corden, right? Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zach Dumois I, is gonna talk about Fumi. I, I feel like there's a lot of celebrities that may not tip as generous as you think. I don't and, think and so. I, and I know this because. Oh, really? Well, I have a couple of friends who work at the comedy store as like door guys. And as a door guy, you have to park the comedian's cars. And the cars you're parking are the people like Bobby Lee's, Bill Barber, Joe Rogan, right? So Joe Rogan, apparently he would tip $100 every time to okay. the door guy. Because that guy's a millionaire. And he's like, I know what it's like to Spotify be- Spotify money, baby. Spotify money, baby. Exactly. But I heard a lot of other people like don't even tip. I know Bobby tips a lot, like hundred dollars and stuff. Yeah, he's a big. I, I don't know what his, you know, I he, I think he tips a lot generously, like in all over, you know, not just at the comedy no, store, no, no. just oh, everywhere yeah, he yeah. knows. I've heard that, but from they didn't tell me names, but they're like some of the other comedians who are like pretty big. Like, I think it's funny anything. that even though you're mic'd, your voice immediately kind of got a little hushed when I'm you were I'm talking, talking about, about comedians I and know, their finances. It was so crazy. I think with comedians, it's hard because. Even if you get famous, you still remember what it's like to have nothing. And it yes. feels like you could just end up there at any time. Well, that's that what is what fuels my tipping. Is that? Yeah, wouldn't, that feeling. Wouldn't that not fuel it? Because you're like, I could just, I need to save this because I... Oh, that's away. interesting. <laughs> that, that's where I'm, I'm coming from. A place of scarcity of like, yes, I yes, I worked at Corden for a year and a half, but now I have nothing, and now I have to say, live off this money. You know, that's, that's so interesting because yeah. then I I guess I'm doing it in a way of just like, oh, that someone in the future will give me money, huh? Yeah, oh, the karma thing. I guess so. And I know I said I stated this earlier, but I'm like kind of getting into the layers of this belief with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, I'm, I'm converting. Wait, do you tip people <laughs> who are not as good to you? Like, what if they're rude to you? How? Do, what do you do then? Oh, if they're rude, rude. Like actually rude and you, they like are short with you. They don't, they're not really paying attention. I don't know. Something like that. They have to be pretty bad for me not to tap. Like at all. Uh, have you bad? done it before? The other, like a racial slur, you'll still do 10%. That's pretty good. <laughs> See, I, I, I have to do it. I can't, it's so hard for I, me It would be to. really hard for me. And usually what, I've never ha really had rudeness. It's like somebody who just maybe dropped the ball. They were good at the beginning, not good at the end. Or somebody who just was careless or like just not paying attention. It would still be a little bit, maybe maybe the full 20. I don't know. But even then I'm like, maybe they're having a bad day. <laughs> I kind of get I know you. This is so that. crazy yeah. to you. No, no it, it is a, empathy. In well, your... if, well, I feel like it's the karma thing is a big thing. It's, it's a, a way thing. for me to feel uh, guilt if I don't tip. Mm -hmm, so it's like mm -hmm. something will happen to me if I don't tip. What, how do you feel when you're it's in like, Japan and it, there's no tipping? I'm feel, okay because that's the rule. That's the rule. That's, that's, the rule. The rule. that's, the rule. that's why everybody loves Japan. <laughs> <It's good. laughs> in, in Italy too, they don't tip. Like you certain right. places in Europe, you just don't. Yeah, and that's right, part right. of it. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. you don't. That's the rule. So there's no karma involved. So, then I'm like, okay, if nobody's doing that, yeah. dude. I, I went. That's so funny. In Mexico, I went to a coffee shop, and it was like when I first got there. So I didn't really know about the tipping. I, I assumed it was fifteen to twenty percent. Yeah. So I gave. The coffee came out to like six dollars or whatever, and I sat at the place for like an hour, like writing, journaling, and then he brings out the little machine and he's like, "Oh, what percentage?" He's like, he immediately said twenty percent, and I was like, "Oh no, 15. He laughed at me. He literally laughed at Why? me. Why? Because I think it was so little. Because like, so what is twenty percent of six? I, I don't know, six dollars? Oh, like, it doesn't make a difference. Yeah, like, like we're talking cents. Yeah, oh, and I think as an really American funny. at this like nice cafe, he literally laughed at me, and I felt guilty, and I like I stuck it, I, I stuck you, it out it. with the fifteen. I was like, and he because he literally twice said. He's like 20. I was like, oh, no, 15. He's like 20. He said it again. Why? Because he, he was trying to, he just probably thought he was like this well, American girl. Yes, like, yes. She's got a lot of money. Yes, I think in, in, in foreign countries, they'll try to hustle. hustle no, but American. he's the only one. No one else ever. Some other people, like, I, they were very grateful. Oh, it was really? just him. Yeah. That's it, so funny. But it was a nicer place. It was a place that a lot of, I think, non. See, if someone laughed at my tipping. 
But I felt I'd, guilty I'd go, after. I'd go down. I'd go, oh, you ten, go down. Here we go. Down. Keep laughing, bro. Nine, stop. <laughs> Not in Mexico. It's okay, like, so let me. Uh, now I'm also realizing, guys, I tip more than twenty because what I do is I double the, <laughs> I double the total and yeah. I move the decimal point, and then oftentimes I'll round it up to an even number. So that's including tax. So that's more than twenty percent. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It yeah, feels yeah, yeah, good yeah. to tip a lot. It's like it, it is for yourself too in many yeah. ways. It's not just for mm-hmm. the other person. There's this ener- there's yeah. this right? <laughs> the mm-hmm. karma. You'll get more it's That's the what I karma think. point. And <laughs> look, I live in abundance and I do receive abundance. And so yeah. let me, you know, pay it forward somehow, some way. And look, and I am saying this knowing that I can do this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, um, you you say you live in abundance mm. and you, know, mm. you said it's your credit card thing. That's I, I, right. You, you, didn't, you weren't too crazy with it. I felt like, actually, Steffi pointed this out. Maybe you do live in abundance. Uh, December 8th, <laughs> Bellicure, $245. Yeah, that was with my mom. Oh, uh, that's, that's me and my mom. Oh, it's two people. So does I was that like, make I more was sense? like, I want to go to a nail because that's a nail shop, and I yeah. want to be able to get. I was like, she's getting diamonds and crystals on each finger because that shit is like expensive in places like. Yeah, I was. It was so my mom's from Minnesota. It's a lot cheaper to do everything in Minnesota, and I watched her kind of whenever they would ask for something in addition, like upsell, she would say yes, and then I was like, okay, and then I. I I knew in my head that I was gonna treat her to this and but then she was like giving them like ten dollars she like give them like five ten dollars in cash I was like no mom like no because she didn't see the total yet oh. she was just like before we leave and I was like mom <laughs> no like no meanwhile I'm just getting my like you know Manny Petty and I'm just yeah, like yeah, watching yeah. this happening knowing she's well, like actually, thinking it's 40 bucks for everything yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Right. that's what she's thinking yeah. wow, wow and it's like no 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 we're in LA mama <laughs> like it's so funny. but that was me and her and she had like gotten like the like yes to the paraffin yes to the like which is the wax it's a wax uh-huh, yeah uh-huh, uh-huh. which I don't know if that really works I, I always wonder if it's really doing something i love the experience of yeah it. it's warm it feels nice yeah. i'm sure is it, is it worth it i don't get it like is ever. it doing something actually is it doing is the wax they so so say so they pour they heat up wax and then they pour it onto your feet and then they like mold or it hands, into your feet or yeah. hands mm. and i've always wondered if that shit really works that's like an extra like 15 dollars or something yeah. like that 10 to 15 dollars so did your mom flip the fuck out when she saw how much this was for two of you no, because I took care of it. <laughs> like, she, she, didn't, she didn't look at the number. Yeah, I don't. I don't think you show her. You know, here's the background of me. My mom. It was a was a hopefully was a horrible gambler, <gasps> and so part of my like, yeah, I mean, she just horrible things to the family. Horrible issues. She, you know, she would go to Mystic Lake Casino in Minnesota where people would know her by her name at the blackjack tables. Oh, shit. You know, get the free uh, free buffet. Yeah. <laughs> free, get them crab legs, yeah. all of that. Um, and then also just cards with her friends and all of that. And so it was a, really a po- point of contention between her and I. And money has always been this like thing for me because of that and also my mom she was always she was always the breadwinner and always the person in charge of like the purse strings and so she would also just like I mean, she when I was like in my teens she was opening credit cards in my name <gasps> like she like just not good stuff and and just as I got you know has constantly asking me for money constantly and we're at a place now where we cannot discuss money i won't like i've like with your parents with your mom with my mom with my parents i do not talk about money she's like how much is your nanny get paid and i'm like oh no, she can't even ask you something i won't and, and i and, won't even go and, there with and why her. because she'll use that to be like oh so you have money well she knows i have money right but like i'm at a point now even though she knows i won't give it to her where it's been such a bad thing that i don't talk about money wow. with her it's like uh but then like something recently happened like maybe three years ago where she got scammed um she got scammed into thinking like facebook scam that's kind of common apparently where 
a friend of a friend contact, contacted her that she she won money, that she herself won money, mm-hmm. and that she should sign up or do something like that so that she gets money. It was this whole convoluted thing wherein to get the money, she needed to go get Target gift cards and Apple gift cards at Target and oh, send I've that seen to these, Oh, it's like the Indian scammer things. I've seen those on TikTok. Uh, and then they, they were going to like give her like when I guys when I see, saw the text the, the text where they're like this is your money where can we drop it off when it's just like a I don't want to say it's clip art because that's not right but like a picture that on the internet of like money in a suitcase kind of thing yeah and she was gonna have it delivered to my house when she was like visiting, giving my address, oh drop off my this money. Oh my God. I mean, like just this happened pretty recently. Like when I say like three years ago and like exploded her relationship with my other sister who she was living with at the time. Yeah. Like money and my mom, it's like, it's a, it's a, it's a really <laughs> perilous spiky path. Yeah. When did you get the balls to be like, no more. Because, um, you know, you've had a long career in comedy, but I don't really know like at what point, because if it's if it started so young, I mean, I'm guessing since you said you worked at service centers and stuff, like you probably didn't have that much money until a certain point. So, yeah. so you know, up until then, were you still giving her money or like you had a kind of a toxic thing with that or like? Yeah, and then of course it's like, you know, somebody who's a gambler, it's like, it's not just like the, the, the guilt and manipulation, it wasn't just about the money stuff. Um, but it took for me with a lot of other things, check out Origin Story Doc. <laughs> um, it's a documentary, autobi- uh, autobiographical documentary I did back in 2019. Oh, I, saw it. I saw it. Thank you, you for watching. Loud, right? <laughs> yeah, there's yeah, just, yeah. we have a complicated, you know, mm-hmm. so it really took for me to like cut her out of my life, which is incredibly tough to do as an Asian person, cut her out of my life. And um, I had to totally rewire and like oh i don't have i'm not in charge of her happiness like this is none of this is my fault Mm -hmm. i can't make her happy i had to do all this work to get to the point where we are now it took years and years like basically all of my 30s to kind of extract myself from like Mm. her shit Mm. and i for there's an extended period of years where we like had basically no contact because i when i put down a boundary she would just like okay you said that and then maybe it'd work maybe it wouldn't and then I would just go back Mm. we just start back at one so but now it's different now because I just don't care and you have a baby now too well more yeah like she that's exactly right yeah it's priorities the priorities and even before she came it's like I'm just don't I don't look to my parents I this seems like cold, but it's true. And if you knew how I grew up, it would, you maybe understand. Check out the documentaries on Amazon. When I say this is like, I don't look for them for approval. I don't need anything from them. I don't need, and it's pretty, it's way less complicated Mm. now. And when you're dealing with my mom, who's, um, has got a lot of undiagnosed personality disorders or have, been diagnosed and then those diagnoses have been ignored <laughs> mm-hmm. um there has to be a bit of like keeping things at arm's reach mm-hmm. to be able to have nice christmases and have her come visit for two months every christmas and thanksgiving you know mm-hmm. like we have mm-hmm. to and that's nice it is nice but it also means like we'll never like the our, our level of relationship sh- shan't be getting any deeper it is a nice surface. Yeah. So when mom goes, how much are you paying your nanny? And I can look at her and laugh and go, uh, I'm not hiring you. You sleep as much as the baby. <laughs> and we can have laughs, laughs about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I Ooh, you say, just fucking like judo that shit. Yeah. You just, and I just go, mom, I'm never, why do you? Why do you want to know? Well, I just want to know. I'm like, I'm not going to tell you, mom. Not going to tell you. And it can be here so it doesn't yeah. just like go to like How? places where she's texting me angry that I'm not giving her money even though she gave me $2,000 at my wedding back in 2008 and so that's owed 
Oh uh-huh, wow! Uh-huh. Like the it's it's hardcore, guys. So so there's like even though like on Add to Cart, I'm always talking about things I buy. When you you guys were like, we're gonna show you bank statements. I was like, <laughs> like, oh, I was like see, now I this was makes a sense. Triggered because it's like <laughs> yeah. Originally you were like, I don't want to send you anything, and I was like, that's fine. We can just talk about money. But yeah. you ended up selling it to us, and this is all goofy shit. You know, you're, you're shopping it's at Levi's. Shit. It's pretty, it's pretty tame. That know? was for that was for Scott for yeah. Christmas. These Love are that. a lot of these are Christmas presents. Um, but yeah, I, I didn't realize that the reason why you were so hesitant was because of this past. And I, people, so a lot of people have these like psychological ties and like emotion things to with money that kind of prohibit them from doing certain things. So I totally, totally understand that. And, and thank yeah. you for sharing that. That's, oh that's wild. yeah, it's so funny because I was like, why is like this a thing? Like it's mm-hmm. so you know, and it always comes. Back, it always comes back to your parents. Of course, <laughs> it does. Yeah. <laughs> like, do you feel like she's gonna watch this? Does she ever no. watch it? No. Because I, I want to know how much you pay for your your <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> how much you pay for your na- nanny? I'm curious how, na- how much nannies are these days. Yeah, we had if a I mom section. Kid, if, I, if I have a kid, I was like, Dude. how much is it these days? Especially a good, I'm assuming uh, you want a good nanny. <laughs> like, that's probably, I don't even know how to start finding yeah, I don't, a nanny. I, I can't even so, guess. Is it an au pair? Like, what is, is what it is an hourly na- thing? It's, it's like an a, hour, it's an hour, the way we work is hourly. It's way more than you think. <laughs> it's, uh, it's shocking. Yeah, Yo, you tip your nanny though. <laughs> don't tip my nanny. <laughs> you tip your nanny? I don't tip oh, okay, my see? nanny. But did they see? get like, I, I remember when I had a nanny and she would get like, I don't know. If she well, Actually, my mom did give her like bonuses, I felt like, yeah. during the holidays because yes. she could have been with the family, but she was with us. They would also, uh, like, they always got like, clothes and things that like if my mom didn't want them or she was you know she gets like yeah nice things like she would give or she or we would travel she'd be like oh we got to bring her a gift oh it's nice there was always this thing so i'm wondering if it is that well for me i they paloma is just like now like she's with us monday through friday nine to five like (gasps) i know her daughter her daughter you know it's like there she i asked i'm asking her to love my daughter Mm -hmm. when i'm not around and so I take that so seriously. So it's like, you know, oh. want to pay her well. And yeah, like there's bonuses and there's, you know, oh, I saw this thing, you know, I think Paloma would like it. Or, you know, like, yeah, you just start to, I trust her. Like there's only, like the only people I trust with my daughter to be with and to give baths and to, you know, feed is like my husband, my my sisters and Paloma. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, how, how old is your um, kid now? She's almost eighteen months. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. I yeah. remember. I remember that whole journey, man. And well, see, that's the other piece. It's like when you ask, like, how much. I mean, we. I went through IVF for ye- tried naturally <gasps> IVF. So many rounds of IVF. My stomach is still like riddled with like um, injection <gasps> scars and wow. stuff. And then we then i we finally got her um got emmy my daughter with a surrogate and that was like a, that was it that was like we had one embryo left i miscarried six times oh and <gasps> yeah I had one embryo left and like one shot and, and my my as they say my geriatric service was cervix was um non viable I had gotten a surgery to correct a, um, my uterus was like a septum, so like heart-shaped. Uh-huh. I had a heart-shaped box, like oh. that in Nirvana song. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and that's, it sounds real cute, but it she caused problems. It sounds like an Omarion <laughs> song. What just happened? What just happened? <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's singing R&B in there. Yeah, <laughs> that's right, that's right. <sighs> yeah, but it wasn't filled with chocolates. It, oh, <laughs> like, wow. Um, so they shaved the septum back but then they took too much out of it and so my lining didn't meet at the very top and so I could try to correct it Mm -hmm. but with one one embryo left and I tried to get more eggs and you get older (laughs) don't have as many you know um and uh so then I went with a surrogate and that is um Cash cuties didn't put it on that card. <laughs> no, I mean that's, did not put it that on that so card. Sweet. You know, I this uh, this that whole pro- baby is very expensive. That's a very expensive that's ass baby. A, <laughs> that's a, 
that's an expensive ass baby. Oh, yeah. that baby. Oh, congrats. Though. That's Thank you. So, She's I'm so happy. The best. Like, the oh. best. Yeah. Amy's also a beautiful name. Emerald. Emerald. Sh- yeah. Is it E M M Y for nickname or I? I went. I I-E. went E M E because just cut the raw yeah, off. Yeah, and yeah. Then that's Emmy. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. You know, it's interesting. A lot of my friends are starting to like freeze their eggs and stuff, but they all work for tech companies who they're like, oh, they'll pay for it. You know, and 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 it's like the only reason why they can do that. And you know, I'm kind of. You know, I was like privileged. I went to like NYU and shit. So I'm, I'm surrounded by people who are like pretty successful. So they're all saying shit like that, you know. But I know that that sentence is not a thing that most Americans can just say. Yeah. If they're 31, oh, I'll just go phrase my eggs. No, I mean, I don't know how much it is, but I'm guessing it's like tens and thousands of dollars. I think at the bottom it's 10. I think, right? it's, I think it's more now. I mean, 10 was like three years ago. And that's like ago. maybe the first round or whatever. And if you want that's to That's one round. That's yeah, one that's round. right. And you that's may not even round. get it, if, you know, and then you have to freeze it. And you, have to key, you have to pay for the freezer or whatever the fuck, you know? And so yeah, like, there's a yearly fee to put uh, in the freezer. Yeah, yeah, just something I think about. And then there's like, embryos too, if you're going to, you know. Yeah. And that's actually, they say that's going to be, you know, if you have that option that's it's there's more viability there because it's a fertilized egg and you know and when you do that generally you get it tested and you know you only put yeah so look it's uh yeah it's definitely something that republicans should focus on and (laughs) and really say you know (laughs) um but yeah yeah so Yes, the nanny. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> not even I was like, like, <laughs> I, when I, my friends who were like, oh, they use these agencies. I was like, oh, let me call these agencies. And they were shocked to hear that some agencies were like, we only work with women who are forty forty dollars an hour minimum. And I was like, I can't, no, like Is I that can't. High? I have no idea. That's so high. I, I, mean, I guess if you're doing it every day, that's forty times eight <laughs> times five. So yeah, I get yeah. Times five. I mean. Look, I, that just it blew my mind, yeah, and I was like, "Cause then, cause then, with an agency, you're also paying like fees, and they get a yeah. percent." I mean, it was all this, and I was like, I was shocked. And like those, you know, I don't know, ten years ago, those same friends were like, "Oh, it started at like twenty something." You know what I mean? Like yeah, it just. Yeah. And look, again, mm-hmm. there's got to be a middle. You know, I mean, oh, you know, I know Mel Gibson's not batting an eye. You sure, know, Al Pacino, sure. new father. <laughs> It's probably not batting an eye at 40, but like even with my means, that was a lot. So just like, you know. Do you think about, um, because you know, you're surrounded by uh, successful comedians and actors and stuff like that. Not not everybody, obviously, but I remember, um, gosh, uh, when I was writing a quote and one of the writers was pregnant and she had a conversation with James. And I think James had been like, if you can afford it, you should do a night nurse. It'll like completely change. Mm -hmm. And she was like, yeah, you're going to fucking pay for that. Like I'm not paying for that. I remember my boss when I was in advertising had a night nurse because he was like really busy and shit. Yeah. Not that other people aren't busy, but he had the means to yeah. afford. So, and I didn't even know what the fuck that was. I back didn't know. Then. What is that? I, I, I had a night nurse and, and it was $40 an hour. Yeah. Wow. It's, it's somebody who stays up with the baby um, at, during the night so that they don't wake you. Like you can sleep oh through it or whatever. God. So if you're like a CEO or whatever, you can just kind of keep working. <gasps> you're not really losing sleep. Or just or like early days, you know, because those, those early days that we had, we had a night nurse for four months. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, it was yeah, yeah. unbelievable being older parents. And I mean, I, I think especially if you're nursing, it's even more, you're it's more depleted. And get, I mentioned had a surrogate, so I wasn't nursing. But um, it's such a luxury because mm-hmm. you can mm-hmm. sleep. And you know that somebody's watching the kid and up with the kid, feeding the kid during the night, knowing the ki- watching the kid. So she was there for us from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Can you uh, tell us a bit about how surrogacy works? Like, sure. Yeah. Did you go through like an ag- is it an yeah. agency as well? Yeah, I went through an agency, and I went through, I went through um, a cons- I hired a consultant, and what that mm. consultant did was, she she has she's been doing this for years. Like, she's somebody who um, has been in this industry for a long time, and um, what happens is is that when you go to a surrogacy, you kind of when you pick an agency, you're sort of locked into that agency. You pay a, a large fee and you hope you start to meet with somebody to be, even begin that process. And then if it doesn't work out for whatever reason, then you're kind of locked in with this agency. Mm. So, and you hope that uh, they've got good surrogates. With her, with this consultant, she has all these relationships. So she could get us in to with like to the best 
agencies, the best candidates. And then she was able to kind of be our advocate with the agency during the entire process. Um, and meaning because it's like the agency is thinking about the surrogate whom mm-hmm. they represent. Mm-hmm. Who's like, who's your advocate in yeah. it? You know, so it was nice to have her, especially since I was freaked out about it. Yeah. And it was a lot for me to wrap my head around. Um, and at first, I mean, it was a real heartbreaker. I have come to this complete other place about it. But in the beginning, I'm like, what if she wants to keep my baby? Yeah, 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 of Which course. Which is like... But they could do that? No. Okay. <laughs> no, and also they don't want to. Like, they're they're in their heads like, what if she doesn't take the baby? <laughs> like, because mm. what generally is women, um, you have to have had children before, have your own family. And that's part of it because wow. you have you have a proven uterus um, wow a proven, proven uterus proven uterus wow. a viable and proven uterus do you meet them have yes you, before the pro- yes yes and we did it in a time of covid <gasps> and so it was all zooms and <gasps> That's Isn't it wild? That's yeah. It's so. Well, this is so fucked up. But like, what, are, you, are you looking at her files? Like, what do you first? You get like, uh, her, like physical, like yeah, like healthy. a file. Uh, f- okay. Well, first it's like kind of a file, you know, where she's answering questions. You see some pictures. See pictures of her family. You kind of get history. Then you meet. You meet uh, uh, her partner. Usually, you meet her partner as well, um, and talk. And then if you want to move forward, then it's like putting the money down with that agency, locking in with that agency. Then once that goes through, which is, you know, its own, you're just signing so much stuff. Then she's going to your doctor and your doctor is checking and making sure everything's good. And you're paying for that. We got to a point with one person where we said yes. And she didn't want she she had she wasn't vaccinated at the time, and she was she said she was willing to be vaccinated. Then we spend like four grand for her to go through our doctor and do all that stuff, and she was like, you know what, I don't want to get vaccinated. So then we were like, well, that's a no go for us. Did you get that money back? Mm-hmm. Of course not. Well, so, I don't but, know if the agency was there to protect both parties in those. Well, situations, then you know? th- the thing that. Because it has to be some sort of like contract of like, I will do X, Y, Z. Yeah. And if you don't meet X, Y, Z. Yeah. Then no go. But you know, this whole COVID thing was, I mean, it threw everybody off. It threw everybody yeah. off. Mm-hmm. It was like a, yeah. Because it was at a time where not everybody, this process takes so long. And it, so it was, it was like in deep pandemic. And so some people didn't want to do it. Some people, yeah. some people were okay to take the first shot, but not the second shot. You know, mm-hmm. like. Mm-hmm. So, or to get a booster and all these things. And so um, she, I I doubt we'll ever see a penny. Like they were like, we'll find somebody else for you. And they did. And she was amazing. Um, But then that woman was like, well, when I get selected for somebody else, I'll pay it back. I don't think that's ever coming. I started to keep pushing, but then I don't think it's ever gonna come. Cause who's going to, I don't know if she ever found another person too, because that was, you know. Oh, you mean the non-vaccinated lady? Yeah, like who knows if she ever found another family to yeah. go with her because, oh. it, so you know. Do, what do you have to pay? What do they, um, well, how much, do you know how much they get paid? And also, uh, like, do you have any control over like what they're eating and these types of things? Or do they show you like what they're, like, or do you pay for those things? How, yeah, oh, so it could be, it, I don't know, well, I don't know. I just, you can I mean, like this is, I have never wanted to have any sort of jurisdiction over another woman's body. It was such a weird <laughs> That's conversation, yes. especially so like if you move forward with this person, now you're getting into a legal situation where you're talking about all of these things. Where you're talking about like, uh, you know, you can you can throw a bunch of stipulations there. Only organic, only, you know, and if that's the case, then you are paying for that. You are like... You're, well, you're paying for most things, not all things, but within this sort of like realm. Um, so wait, so your first question was like, how much, sorry. Yeah, there's a multiple. The, the, it was the, just the like, carrier? How yeah, much? The, how much does the carrier get paid? Okay. You know, and the, then, gestation, the gestational carrier. Gestational carrier. <laughs> oh, gestational carrier. Yes. And so she, depending on how many times she's done it, 
I think when you start, you can get around $40,000 when you start. And then it can go, it usually taps around like, um, she's had multiple surrogacies. Mm -hmm. There's a limit. I think there's something like six is the limit of pregnancies you can have, but like with your own and you know. Um, And there's an age thing too. Um, I've heard a top around like 90, 100K, just her. And then you, as the IP or intended parent, are paying for all, you know, there's all, there's the agency fee, there's the legal fees, there's any, you know, hospital fees. Probably gonna have to get into insurance. You put all this money, like a huge sum, and you put it in an escrow account. Oh. And we just closed our account maybe two months ago because once you ha- you have that baby, amazing, you get your baby, she's still recuperating. So you want to make sure you know that she, the 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 gestational carrier, you know, any possible ha- you know, so oh, it, it's held like into an, oh, an, es- an escrow shit. account. Shit. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. It's a so lot, guys. To. It's a lot, and there's like. There's so many, <laughs> she, and you. I, we went with an agency that we wanna make sure a person's taken care of, so she had like allowances for certain things, <gasps> like allowances for clothes, allowances, not like, like there weren't like. Really? Yeah, there's just a lot, there's a lot. So it's a, yeah, yeah, it's a lot. Wow. Guys, it's a lot. That's fascinating. It's a lot, everyone. <laughs> Holy shit. It's a lot. Oh, I don't man. think, I mean, people don't even know half of this shit that uh not just the Most financial people part, don't like, yeah it sounds really stressful for you it was as so a family. stressful yeah that's a lot it was dude. so so stressful and i kind of lost my mind mm, i probably shouldn't get in well there was just like i just started to kind of freak out about the covid piece too because like i just in my head there's just so many things you can't control mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. when it's it's you know like she you're carrying my baby, but you have your own family, your own life. But I'm worried. What if your kids go to school and then and they get COVID? And hey, and then you have COVID, and then what are we gonna do if they oh have COVID? Like, you know, yeah. it's like you just. But there's a limit. And for me, you know, she told me the stuff that she eats, what she, you know, I, I there was for me, I wasn't gonna be like you have to use this detergent, and I just could you. I want you to eat well, and I, you know, like, but it. it at a certain point, I also felt like she knows there's some things that she, she's done this before and I haven't. Mm, oh, that's interesting. You know, yeah. like I can't, I've had to like, I've just the, the amount of letting go that I had to do. Yeah. That's, Ooh, oh my wait. God. Like, yeah. yeah. But that, I, that but, change you though? Like after yes, the experience, like I'm, you're more chill or just kind of yeah. have a better vantage point of things. Yes. And then oh now God. with my daughter, it's like, I can, you know, she just makes me so present. <laughs> Cause like with kids, it's like we're dealing with the now. And I've always been minority reporting my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I know you, you got a little pool in your living room. <laughs> There's three Asian uh, women uh, in pools for yeah, some reason. Exactly. That's right. My entire life. And my entire life. And Dude, you can do it, but like I totally feel you. Yeah, that. it's like you just don't have that much energy. I've really, in this year, <laughs> I've really had to learn about like limits. Like I cannot carry on. Yes. Which which is the weird thing because I joke with my husband that we were two dads in a way because we're like waiting for the baby and it's weird when it's That's happening really outside of you. Yeah. Interesting. And yeah. because like she was in Riverside and it's not like I, could, I wasn't, uh, when she was pregnant, I couldn't go. I was on, I, I went to one like, I was able to go to one like um, um, doctor's appointment because it was just like, hard to go down there and I couldn't really, they wouldn't allow us to FaceTime or whatever. So there's, there's just limitations, but then like, you know, she's further away and it's hard to get, you know. Yeah. So, but it was just this kind of interesting, you know, it's, it's different. It's different. It was, uh, yeah. And it's like, weird because you don't want to get too connected to that person either, but she, you are so connected to that person. It's such a, when we like, when the bait oh man i we went down to riverside um to to wait for the baby um 
and it took longer um, than I ever wanted to ever be in Riverside. <laughs> um, <laughs> it took like two fire, weeks. Riverside. Show, yo, come at me, come Your at me. Sucks. Oh man, I like the Cheech, I like the Cheech Marin uh, Art Museum, um, but that's about it. And so. Um, <laughs> I we were there and then like we I just hyper bonded with my surrogate and her husband like that sort of well certainly during during the the labor which was like unfortunately my husband couldn't be in the room because of covid restrictions so it was the three of us for a lot of time like he was able to come in and out but for like a long stretch of it scott had to just wait in the car so bad but i was there for the birth like i got to be guys it was Yo, waiting in the car for your baby to be born is hilarious. <laughs> well, it's just so. I <laughs> mean, it's a, it's a little bleak, yeah. <laughs> like, it is. Like, it is. The radio. <laughs> it was funny. I felt so bad. I like, know. That's and crazy. And then I was there, and when she was born, I mean, I felt like such a. <laughs> I'm just like st- when the baby was coming I'm just like kind of standing and like I don't know what to do yeah. like, and, I, and it was happening and then Emmy came out and it was just like I I looked at her name's Amy and I looked at Amy and I was like thank you so much yeah thank you for like I can't, thank you for the like it was just it had like it culminated to that yeah where yeah because i have like (laughs) trust issues and like oh you know i don't you know and then mom (laughs) and then to have gone through this with her and like and her husband and like to have bonded with them and it was this amazing gift that you know that we shared it was this beautiful thing that we shared and the entire time when they would come in she was like oh mom and she'd go that's a mom she'd always say like you know and like like yeah like and it was just this beautiful experience and it's like how i got my daughter yeah and when you've been through the ringer like i have how it got to a point where i was like however we get her and she has been so worth it that's every, amazing every day she's so fucking funny and hilarious wow. she's already doing bits like i love she's that she's just like <laughs> she's like i was like oh and look having kids ain't for everybody but that kid's for me mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that kid's mine i'm gonna start crying I know, I know. I so <laughs> the only like after before this the only thing i really knew about all this was baby mama the movie <laughs> you ever watch that <laughs> sorry <laughs> tina hey and amy Poehler. a trashy white lady will have your baby and then they will become your best friend right that's back. what i know oh, that's what i knew God. but damn that was beautiful. That was yeah. cool. Up, thank you so thank much you for, for sure everything. This is amazing. It's we the started only thing with I've some learned <laughs> on the podcast. Know, it's the it's only it's thing I've actually learned. Yeah, we, <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. Wow. We started with tipping. I want to tip now because of the story. I'm gonna start tipping Uber. I'm sorry, Holiday Inn Express. I'm sorry. I'll start tipping y'all. I mean, no, I, I think okay. I think even small amounts of tip is better than. <laughs> Because the I story realized of the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, she, she worked me. She worked me. <laughs> God damn it. She worked me. She She's Nigerian. She's she Nigerian. Did. She takes out the mask. She's the Nigerian cab driver. <laughs> the power. You can Apple pay mom. me any amount that you want. <laughs> I love the that. The power of motherhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, cool up. Well, thank you so much for sharing all that. Um, we we got to wrap this up, but uh, tell our <laughs> listeners where can they find you <laughs> and your work? <laughs> you can find me, uh, watch uh, Add to Cart, the podcast I host with Suchin Pak. Um, wherever you get your fine podcasts, this is wherever you get this fine podcast. Hey, hey. And then uh, you can follow me at, at I am cool up, K U L A P on Instagram. Check that out. Uh, please follow us on all the socials at Cash Cooties Pod. I'm also on there at the Fumi Abe. That's T H E F U M I A B E. Or you can find me at Baked Goods, B A I K E D G U D S, and my website, stuffy, stuffybake.com. And also, 
on my Venmo, Steffi is me. <laughs> hit her so up. hit me up. Hit up. Also hit check out. Yeah. You came on the podcast. Yeah, I was about to say you got you guys check out the podcast we did on their podcast. Yes, add, uh, to, add cart. to cart. Google it. And her fans were amazing. Yes. Yeah. Because they paid for I I talked about this jam I really wanted. Mm-hmm. It's onion jam. That you're one of your amazing fans hit me up on Venmo and sent me. Uh, she's like, go buy the jam. Do it. Yeah. Like, that's so, so like, cuties, you got to return a favor. Put some money yeah. into that escrow account or whatever the fuck. She's yeah. Like, she needs put some, some money, money in there. Yeah. I don't know how to access it, but please show her some love over there. <laughs> Loves her some love, man. Um, shout out to our uh, video producer Nicholas Peters, sound engineer Doma Goy, and our cook guy Matias. You just start up a Fumi <laughs> account. Just like, look, make my tip jar, and it's that uh, for you to tip oh, other people. T- yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't have to be an asshole out there. <laughs> Please <laughs> tip jar. Oh God, I love that. Uh, we want to hear about your spending habits, cuties. So email us at cashcuties at gmail.com and tell us uh, about your cash cuties moments and financial topics you'd like to hear about us. Uh, send us a voice mem- memo. You know what to do. Um, I think that's it. We'll see you guys yeah. next week. And until then, spend your money wisely or don't have fun. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>